Hi, TD Moose here, otherwise known as Pat Lewis. I'm going to do a short demo on how to take apart a Flip Ultra 30 video camera. The video that you're watching now is being recorded by the camera that I'm going to take apart. And here's the camera that is going to record the demo. So let's get started. Well, here's pretty much everything we need to take this apart. First of all, the flip camera. And yes, it is a working unit, as you can see. So I'll just turn that off before I actually start taking it apart. A pair of long nose pliers, surgical forceps, a thin blade knife, and a set of jeweler's screwdrivers. So let's get started. First of all, take the battery cover off, just slides off. And we can take the batteries out. Now, there's four screws here, and those come off fairly easily. But there's some other ones that you need to take off too. And those are under this plate. And if you start to pry it up, it has a little bit of resistance, but you just keep prying it. And this plate will come off. What's keeping it on there is this little thin strip of glue, but it doesn't take too much to take the cover off. And then just a small screwdriver. Take these screws off the front. Come off fairly easily. Again, you have to get that top cover off to have access to those other two screws, otherwise you won't be able to take the cover off. Fairly typical to have a couple screws that aren't as obvious as the other ones. And I got most of these done here. And I think I need to unscrew this one just a little bit more. So once you have those off, then you should be able to pry this cover off fairly easily. And it does kind of stick a little bit because you've got this little piece on the side. And you've also got the, the little jack on the side that kind of holds it in there. But once you do, you can, once you've got this off, the little button pad falls off fairly easily. There's a few other screws on here that hold the board. And once you take those off, the board can come out. Now there is one little thing that you want to watch as far as taking the board out. And that is that you don't want to rip one of the connectors. Okay, so I've got those out. Let's see, it should be ready to come out. And the connector is right on this side. So I'm going to pry the board up. I'm just going to kind of leave it so that it's sort of dangling on this side here. So maybe I've got one more screw I need to get. Yep. And there's another screw right next to it that actually holds the video screen on, so you don't want to take that one off. And there is the connector that I'm talking about. And to get that off, oh, you also want to make sure that these battery clips don't hook on this, onto the side here. Otherwise, it'll be very difficult to take off. But before you pull this thing completely off, you have to take this screw off. And that allows the connector that's holding the, the USB or the, the cable that's connected to the USB connector on there. Once you get that off you can just take these connectors off. The USB connector and the microphone cable just pull off. They're just little modular connectors. Pull right off and there's the board.
the USB connector is in there a couple screws and you can take that unit off I'm not going to do that right now um, but the other thing that you'll want to do is to get the microphone out and you do have to take the the little USB connector out as well actually I think I will go ahead and just do that um, I think I've got both of the screws that I need to out of there because they're the same ones that go through the the board as well and taking this off you kind of have to just pry it out and kind of tip it to the side a little bit so that it can clear the slot and then once you do there's the USB connector you can take this unit apart even more um, there's a screw here and a screw there and you can actually just pull this whole thing out I'll just leave that there for now and then the microphone which is probably one of the more useful things to have access to right away is held on by these two black screws and once you have that oops yeah, I'll get that screw later the microphone board is here the reason that I say that it's more important to have that than the USB connector is that it makes the camera much more fully functional the USB connector is only useful when you actually want to take the video off of the the camera and the other nice thing about having the microphone on there is that there's an LED light that lights up to let you know that it's in record mode and once you have this like this board taken out then I rigged up something with a 3 volt photo lithium battery instead of the two double A batteries that it normally runs with uh, just because it's a little bit smaller and lighter and one nice thing about these lithium batteries is that there's a little vent hole and as you can see I put a little piece of wire through there and I just twist that on and that's my positive connection this is the positive terminal on this board and then I just twist this cable on here I normally do a little bit better job than I'm doing right now but I'm just trying to demo this fairly quickly and then once you have that the camera can be turned on let me find the switch here it's right here on the side and there it is it's a working unit this is the record button here so when I press it as you'll notice the light comes on near the microphone to let you know that it's recording most of the functions are fairly easy um, to use record play and the delete button I keep the pad around just in case I want to use some of the other toggle functions because these types of switches are very difficult to use without this this little button pad um, but I've got it stripped down fairly much to just the basic stuff as you can see it's very small very light fairly easy to rig up something for the power so now it's all ready to be mounted in a smaller project such as something that you'd put on a kite or rocket or something like that that's the whole purpose for taking this thing apart is to get rid of all of this bulky plastic that takes up a lot of space and adds a lot of weight so there you go well there's a few tools that I said originally that you would need that I never ended up using however keep in mind that this was kind of a demo I had already taken the unit apart put it back together and then showed how I took it apart so when I first took it apart I actually used some of those things so the needle nose pliers the surgical forceps these those were useful for pulling the cables off the first time actually after I got them off and on a couple times they slid off and on a little bit easier and wasn't necessary and then the knife was useful for getting that one cover that I mentioned that 
hides the two screws on the top. And also, just for prying the case apart the first time, sometimes after you get a case apart the first time, it goes back together and comes apart a lot easier. But a thin knife or a thin blade screwdriver is useful for those things. So just thought I would mention that since I realized that I had said that those were things that were needed, but I never actually showed them in use.